I'm Julie Duell with NDOT News. I'm out here on US 93 south of Ely. Back in November, a huge storm blew through, causing 50 mile an hour winds and huge snow drifts. At least 50 motorists were stranded alongside of the road, and our NDOT crews came to the rescue. On November 20th, 2013, a winter storm was headed to central Nevada. Moderate to heavy snow was predicted, along with high and gusty winds. The Ely Maintenance Station workers at the Nevada Department of Transportation began their usual preparation. Winter weather conditions are nothing new for this area, and keeping the roads open is always a top priority. But the winds accompanying this storm were in excess of 50 miles per hour, causing huge snowdrifts to pile up. Snowplow operators were reporting extremely poor visibility with blowing snow on US 93 south of US 6. Soon, bad became worse as tractor trailers became jackknifed, blocking driving lanes on US 6. On US 93, traveling motorists were stuck on the roads by zero visibility, mounting snow and temperatures in the low teens. US 93 was shut down with no less than 50 stalled vehicles blocking all attempts of the NDOT crews to clear the roads. Mary Ann Sharp, supervisor of Crew 381, describes the situation. Visibility was blizzard conditions, complete whiteout. So we were struggling trying to get cars moving and get the ones unstuck. And at this time, we were getting cars backed up. Um, shortly after that, we got the road closed and then it was just nothing but cars, semis, um, semis facing in the wrong lane, cars in the wrong lane, and just for three miles, 50 plus cars stuck on the road. Stranded motorists were low on gas, food, and water. Attention was redirected from digging vehicles out to rescuing individuals and taking them to a safe haven. In this case, heated school buses provided by the White Pine County School District. We were doing the best we could. Uh, Jimmy Hollinger on the Snowcat was bringing fuel down to him with what cans the, the guys could round up in Ely. We were trying to tram as much gas just to keep them running for the night for the people that were waiting to get shuttled to the bus um, just to keep them going. So. Many motorists were unprepared for the hazardous weather, some wearing shorts and no shoes. NDOT workers loaded stranded motorists a few at a time into a snowcat and drove them to the buses. Basically we moved them from about 1 a.m. till about probably about 1 uh, p.m. the following day. And so we dump off our people, turn around, go back, and probably maybe about 20, 25 trips, I'm going to guess. Once full, the buses shuttled them to local ranches to wait out the storm. And in the 14 years that I've been here, I've never seen it drift that bad. District 3 maintenance personnel worked from the north end of US 93, while crews from District 1 worked the south end, tediously digging stuck vehicles out of 10 feet high snow drifts. NDOT crews from Ely, Alamo, Lund, and Panaca worked tirelessly together with the Nevada Highway Patrol, White Pine County Sheriff's Office, Nevada Division of Forestry Conservation crews, Southern Nevada Water Authority, and local ranchers for more than 24 hours to free the stranded motorists and clear the road. By the afternoon of the following day, relieved motorists were returned to their vehicles. Miraculously, no one was seriously injured, and the thankful motorists resumed their trips. To summarize it, it was an extraordinary event with extraordinary conditions, but the effort put out by the folks that responded actually wasn't extraordinary. To understand that, you have to understand what extraordinary is. It's beyond the norm. It's beyond what can be expected. And the amount of effort and the will and the dedication put out by these folks was not extraordinary. It's what they do every day. Thanks for watching. I'm Julie Duell with NDOT News.